Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to Susie Crafter Designs. Today I'm here coming at you with a really beautiful project. This will be my last design team project for Shabbylicious of 2014, but I'll be seeing you next year. Um, in the meantime, I'd like to share with you this beautiful, beautiful Queen's crown that I've created from complete scratch. I sketched out the entire base of this item here and uh, cut it out. I uh, had done some gesso to the uh, lightweight chipboard um, and then I started to design it. And uh, designing it, I used some um, items here from Shabbylicious. Um, I am completely tapped out with laces, so I tried to work, make do with what I had. Um, as with, you can see right here, I have a beautiful scalloped Venice lace there that is, uh, it, it comes to a point and then it scoops down almost like a scallop and then it scoops up and then down again. It's very detailed and very beautiful and it happens to be one of my favorite laces. It's very dainty and feminine and certainly can be a shabby or wedding style for any one of your projects that you're creating. Um, with that said, the focal point here is this beautiful, beautiful lace, which is, um, I believe it's called the Angel Wing Lace or the Snowflake Lace. I'm really not sure. Um, in one of my last design team projects for Shabbylicious, I made, um, I made uh, the snowflake using the tips of this lace, and that's exactly what I've done here as well. Um, and hoping that you can see, like right over here, the pieces of the lace that are connect, connect each point were cut off and used as part of the scallop that I had drawn out in between here and here. So I have one, two, three, four or five. Um, I'll, I'll be sh moving this around and show you exactly what it is in a second. Um, also, um, each and every uh, point here is standing up very crisp and firm because I've adhered wiring to the back of everything so it would be firm. This can definitely be worn to a party, uh, perhaps New Year's Eve even, or a birthday, uh, Sweet Sixteen, anything of that nature. Um, Along with uh, the embellishments, I've added a couple of rhinestones from my stash as well as some flat back pearls and a very light ivory color. At the bottom here, I've also added some items from my stash, which were uh, station um, glass pearls all across the bottom in between the gorgeous scalloped um, trim that's on the bottom that is like a trim with a little bit of uh, sparkle in it and the top and bottom have all uh, pearl scalloped all around just absolutely stunning and so now I'm just going to back away so that I can just quickly show you um, what I have here um, if you see on on the sides everything is completely clean and there you can see the piece of this was cut off on all of them, and they were added on all of them, here, and here, and here, here, and here. And that other lace that I was talking about that I love so much, uh, that is actually uh, starts over here. There's layering of laces. There's some of my lace underneath it because I needed to have a thicker base that was more of an elegant style rather than something that may be bold and thick. Uh, and um, some other type of style is trying to be very elegant in this project, and I think that I have actually um, accomplished that. And just to quickly show you, um, there is the, the entire back, which is completely finished off. So if it's worn on the head with a simple bobby pin, uh, it can definitely fit in. Or um, I can actually... Um, add small combs on each side 
of the inside, which if you see there, uh, there is, uh, the front is actually lined with white cotton. So I put white cotton over the front top. First I gessoed the lightweight chipboard. Then I um, added some white fabric over that along with some lace that was from my stash. And then adding the Shabbylicious uh, trims. And as you can see, the closure area here is completely sealed. Um, there's nothing that is off measurement. It's Everything is completely centered and very neatly done. As well as, like you can see, like the, the wiring. I'm hoping you can see that there. I just used some jewelry wire. I don't know if it was 14 or 18 gauge, but it was bendable a little bit but not too bendable because I didn't want it to uh, be flimsy. And I have this really beautiful crown sitting on a very lovely pedestal here. And the background is an absolutely gorgeous crushed thick velvet non-stretchy fabric uh, that I had recently purchased. And um, just a uh, uh, gorgeous I wanted to give this some kind of a royalty look so instead of using my standard silks different pinks and creams I wanted this to have more of a royalty look in its display to you on the internet so that is my design team project for Shabby Licious of December 2014 releasing it to you on the 14th of December this year and I'm uh, just wanting to uh, wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, a very Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy and Healthy New Year. I hope that the New Year brings us all uh, good health and good fortune. I'm wishing you all well and thinking about all of you. and looking forward to Shabby Chic Fridays with Susie Crafter. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these and more, plus really new beautiful items that came into the shop, please go to, to zibet.com slash Linica. All of the information will be in the drop-down box below right here, where you can click on the link and be redirected to the store and browse for yourself. And when shopping, please know that you can use my name, Susie, as your coupon code to receive 10% off of your total purchase of $15 or more. So if you're looking for some type of really beautiful lace, uh, other embellishments, uh, button centers for flowers, and so on, that's the place to go. It's a great Zibet shop run by Lily, and I hope that you enjoy shopping, that you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe and share this video um, on YouTube and wherever else that you would like to um, so that you can uh, keep up with what's happening and come on back. So thanks so much for tuning in today and have a wonderful day and a great holiday. Bye everyone!